Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So um, I've had a box arrive from Mattel Creations and it is this WWE Retro 4-Pack Bundle Series number 3 from the Creations line. Um, I've had um, all three um, of these so far since they've been released by Mattel Creations. So get the outer um, shipper box out the way. They do come in these lovely sort of presentation boxes. So you've got the official retro four pack on the back there with the um, cross sell of the four figures. So you've got Lex Luger, um, Greg the Hammer, Valentine, Riverman Blues, Doink the Clown and Tugboat. So they all do fit nicely in this box. And so across the bottom there you've got the stylistic of the four figures. And then they just pop out of this um, little latch here. So we'll undo the little latch. And we will have a look at the figures. I'll pull them out in any random order. So um, we get a surprise at who we're um, opening first. Because I will be opening them. So first one out. We have got Mr. Rhythm and Blues. Greg the Hammer Valentine. So there you've got Greg the Hammer Valentine. So this card has got the orange um, sort of beading around the side. Um, the idea with this is it is basically the missing Hasbro's. So the rumour has it this was the set of um, Hasbro's that were going to be released next. But for whatever reason, it never actually hit the um, hit the star pegs. So um, first of all, we'll get into Greg. So you've got him on the back of the box. So you've got the, um, the four other figures on the back of the um, sort of card in. And then you've got the um, Greg Hammer Valentine. And um, he does um, does give people a hammer slammer. So um got his guitar with him. So we shall get this um, card in open and um, get Greg um, out of his box. So I'm trying to be as tight as I can with this. It does prove a little bit difficult at times. I don't want to do too much damage to the card here. So there is Greg out. And you get a guitar with him. Now this is a sort of gimmick guitar um, that comes with Greg the Hammer Valentine. So it does sort of come apart. It's maybe one that you can hit on people's heads and break apart. So what I've been told is keep the elastic on the guitar so um, you so it doesn't um, keep falling apart. Because apparently it is quite easy to for the feature to break. So we'll keep the elastic on the guitar there of Greg. And we'll have a look at Greg himself. So you've got um, a very nice long-haired version of Greg the Hammer Valentine. So he's um, dyed his blonde locks jet black um, for this incarnation. Um, he's got the clothesline, clothesline feature. Um, on these retros it does move. So it does um, sort of pull out and then you can swing him around. And he does swing around and um, clobber somebody with a clothesline. So you've got the white jacket on with the um, musical um, notes all over it. On the back of the um, jacket there's not a lot else. There's not a lot of... Um, colour or anything but you can see the imprints of the um, the sort of musical notes on there as well. It does have rhythm and blues on his blue, uh, navy blue trunks and he just has white boots on. Of course he's got some cool shades on it um, and I think if you, um, if I'm right in um, thinking you can just sort of pop his guitar in his hand which we'll try and do once we get him on display. So that's the first one, Greg the Hammer Valentine. On to number two, no looking and no cheating. Who is it going to be next? And the next one out is Doink the Clown. So, of course, there was a Hasbro um, of Doink the Clown, but there was meant to be this one released, which is a um, which was Evil Doink. So, um, eventually, it has been released by um, the Mattel Retros. Again, I'm going to do my best to as, um, be as tidy as I can. Getting into this packaging. So we should be getting it okay. So, 
sorry. There he is, out of his packaging. And um, his, um, his move is the clown around. So I think you can just spin him all the way around with his hands. So quite a cool little move there from Doink. So we'll put that packaging to one side. So um, with Doink, you've got the black boots, red trunks, um, and then blue shorts over them to um, cover up the um, rest of his um, outfit. So he's got a full-on blue, thing, blue um, outfit with red topping and then the light little yellow pocket square on his top with a yellow tie down it. Um, the hair, which is different to the um, Hasbro, is properly moulded. I don't think you get away with the um, sort of like, um, sort of hair like material anymore. And then he has got these um, two sort of clothesline arms, which you can just sort of spin him round with. So another quite cool, um, quite cool um, figure there. So impressed with Doink the Clown. So let's put Doink to one side before we check them out on the shelf. Um, Two more to go. Who's going to be next? And the next one is Total Package Lex Luger. So this was in his um, um, Ally Powers days when he was um, tagging with um, Davy Boy Smith, the British Bulldog. Both had um, sort of like the um, Union Jack and the um, Stars and Stripes on the trunks. Um, so really cool Ally Powers. Um, Lex Luger, and his move is the um, Patriot Press. So um, we'll get into Lex the same way as we got into the other ones. Hopefully um, not doing too much damage, as I've been saying. I don't want to damage the um, box too much. There we go. In it goes. Very, very um, carefully getting out Lex. So, we'll pop the package into one side again. So there you've got Lex Luger. So he's got one of these sort of like moving bodies which moves from side to side. Um, so it just moves from side to side. I think the, um, the arms will go up into the um, Gorilla Press situation and then he can just throw people like that. So that's how um, old Lex works. Um, so, um, we'll quick look at this. He's got his long um, mullet type haircut. Uh, you've got white boots, um, the Stars and Stripes knee pads on him, and he has got these um, Stars and Stripes trunks on with the red, white, and blue um, wrist tape. So, um, slight difference from his um, narcissist in his Hasbro figure. I do need to get that Hasbro figure, so um, I'm looking forward to um, trying to pick that up at some point. But there you've got Lex in his um, stylish Stars and Stripes trunks. So that can only mean the last man standing is Tugboat. So you've got um, Tugboat here. So obviously Tugboat was um, released in Hasbro style in his other guys, which was Typhoon in the Natural Disasters um, tag team. Um, but Tugboat was always meant to get his um, Hasbro release. Um, I think some people um, I've seen online have got even got prototypes of that Tugboat figure. But well, um, he is in the um, retro line now. So um, we will get Tugboat out of his packaging. So there is Tugboat. And his um, his move is the anchors away. Um, so there you have him in his box. So I think the... Um, So I think the, the move is you pull him back and he does a bit of a headbutt. Not much um, not much articulation at all to old Tugboat. So um, on to Tugboat's outfit. So he's got his white trousers on, red pinstripe up the side, and then the um, sailor's vest, um, red and white striped, and his sailor's hat. He's doing a little toot toot sound with his lips. So quite a cool looking figure. So there you have it, the full Retros wave um, from the latest Mattel Creations releases. So only thing I can do now is take them over to the um, display stand and put them with the other retro figures. And then we can take a look and see what we think to the full retro set. But really glad I've got these retros open and added to my collection. 
So guys, there you can see the full retro set that I've collected, um, by no means anywhere near complete. Um, but I have been complete on the um, latest lines. So there, these are the latest ones, um, the latest four pack sets. So all three of them have been added to my collection, so I'm really pleased to have done that. And you can see Doink, Tugboat, Greg Valentine and um, Lex Luger added into the set. Um, the um, previous figures that I've picked up are along the back there. Obviously I would like to pick some others up as and when I can find them at the right place. Some of these are um, really skyrocketing price. I think um, you've got, you're paying a premium now um, to get hold of um, Diesel, Roman Reigns and um, Ric Flair. Um, and I think some of the others are um, also quite on the expensive side. I am quite looking forward to the um, next set that are um, coming out. And they have announced that there is going to be an NWO set with Hulk Hogan, Kevin Nash, um, Scott Hall and um, um, Six. So um, really, um, really pleased with how this looks now. So I'll leave you with this last look at the um, four new ones. And we'll um, go and close out this video. So guys, there you have it, the um, latest wave of Mattel Retros unboxed and added into the collection. Four figures in one video, not like me at all, um, but I didn't want to take my time um, doing this one. I just wanted to get them out and add it to the collection. So as, um, as always, let me know in the comments which one was your favourite. And what have you um, thought to the um, Mattel Retros um, line um, so far? I think it really is a great line and playing homage to the um, previous Hasbro figures, never a bad thing. Um, as I say, I would like to pick up some more of them, so I will be um, keeping my eye out, trying to find some nice loose bargains, or um, bargains in general, but like I say, some of the figures do hold quite a bit of value. Um, otherwise, um, as I've said before, um, if you don't mind, please subscribe to the channel. I appreciate every single one of you who does take the time to do so, and it does help me to keep the channel growing and um, Keep it, keep these videos coming to you on a daily and weekly basis. Otherwise, that's it for today. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.